Look nine. chapter nine. Look nine. Let me show you something. Then he called his twelve disciples together mm -hmm. and gave them power and authority over now, all notice, devils. Notice what he says. He gave them what? And what? Okay. Look at the word power there. It's the word dunamis. Write it down. Dunamis. D U U D U N A N A M I M I S S. Everybody say dynamic. On come that say dynamic. Where we get the word dynamic? Like come get come let's say dynamic. How you dilemma? How dynamic? Ah, powerful. So the second word in Greek there that is used. Let's search and see. In Matthew, he used the word power. So when say come let's say man. But Literally, that word is supposed to be exosia. So, look, look as a doctor, he put it a little bit better than Matthew. So, he said he gave them power and authority. Now, the word authority, you know in Greek, sometimes you'll get the word power but in English. But if you go to Greek, you'll see they will use the word dunamit or the word exosia. So I want you to notice what he gave them. First, he gave them power, dunamit, and authority. That is exosia. What's the authority? The legalization. You are given a power, mandate, you are being authorized, you are being licensed. Dunamis. What's a dunamis? You are given power to perform miracles. It's an ability to make it happen. What is humanly impossible, you make it possible. The same way it is where the word miracle is used. They put the word dunamit. Now if you go to Greek, look at that word in Greek. Uh, dunamit. Let's, let's, let's look at it a little bit. This word, it simply means inherited power. Power residing in a thing by virtue of its nature. Which a person or a thing exerts and put forth power for performing miracles. Do you see that? Amen. So that's what that that word. So what did Jesus give to his disciples? I want you to notice. I want you to notice. He gave them what? Power. Who did he give power to? To his disciples. Now remember, Kumbulage. by this time he had about 70 plus 12. 12. So 70 plus 12, what's that? 70 not 12, uh, 82. 82. So he didn't give to all the 70. But there was a time where he gave to 70 to go temporarily and perform. Continue, ma'am. I guess one of the one. And gave them power and authority mm. over all devils mm. and to cure diseases. He gave them power against unclean spirit. So, what is the devil? Is an unclean spirit. What is God? Is the clean spirit. What are the demon? Unclean spirit. What are the angel? Clean spirit. You got it. Amen. So, what power? What power did he give them then? Okay, let's go. Then he said, against unclean spirit, what to do? To cast them out. 
and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. Now notice what happened. Casting out demons and healing people, usually it works simultaneously. I'll make an example. A woman who was crippled yesterday in Pongola, she was sitting down. So I said, three of you, get up. So they got up. They ran. And then I went to another one. To this woman, the Holy Ghost told me, she doesn't only need to be healed. She needs the casting out of the spirit. So what happened? I commanded the spirit of crippleness in that moment. Those who were following me, they heard what I said. I said, you spirit of crippleness, get out of there. She started falling down. So usually, when I heal people from crippleness, I would say, get up. But this one, it was not through the accident. No, it was a spirit involved in whatever that made her cripple. So I need it. It's called spiritual technicalities. That's why some people, we wonder why this one was healed, this one was not healed. Spiritual technicality, it means sometimes you need to make a confession. Sometimes I need to deal with a certain spirit. If the man of God is rushing and ministering, he may not get the job done. So I said, get out the spirit. And she falls down. And then as she falls down, the, f- the job was not finished. I had to follow her and command the spirit to get out of her. And she ran, she started crawling down. She rushed crawling. You couldn't believe that that person was crippled. She left the crashes there. But she was able to crawl. And then she ran like from there what to here. And then she slapped. Then I say clap hands for her. Why did I say clap hands for her? Because the spirit of crippleness left her. When she woke up, she ran. She started dancing. And while I was healing a blind person this side, we were excited. Ah, she can see now. Follow me, follow me. This side, people was ah. This one, she's, she's jumping. This side, we are jumping. The crowd is divided. There is a point. The point is, in all of these women, I exercise one power called dunamis. I commanded the three to get up. I healed them with dunamis power. The ability to make them walk. But to this one, I needed two. Exorcia. What's the exorcia? Authority. I am authorized to heal. So when I notice when I deal with demons, I don't use my power. I command them. And usually you'll hear me saying, you devil know you know me. You know me. Sometimes I would say when it's critical issues, why do I say I am HQ now? Because in the spirit, I am known. Crippleness. 
Okay, Okay. <laughs> 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 Music stores. Gandhi na solele na albums alamila. I will forever worship you. Songs of intimate worship. Na solele for a single track. No COVID-19 shall lock me down. Gandhi there are more plenty news. Isia tola gala album aim chaga Queen Mother umamba tanala. It is songs of adoration. Zitolele the album go wonke ama digital music stores.
Samsung na da Samsung ko wonke a digital music stores Gandhi na solela na albums alhamdulillah I will forever worship you songs of intimate worship na solela for a single track no covid 19 shall lock me down Gandhi there are more plenteous news isiya tsola gala album ain ta ga queen ma da mamba ta nana it is songs of adoration zitolele album go wonke a digital music stores